Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today we are back on Southeastern High Speed and uh, we're doing the uh, second episode of Reskin Recap because, you know, why not? Um, thought today we'd uh, have a look. I had a look on the uh, mods, the Train Sim World 2 community mods and um, this was the only reskin I could find. So that, that's what we're doing today. So we're going to make sure that we've got all of our systems running. And um, yeah, so we will, we don't need AWS on this route, but we will have Vigilance activated. So um, this is the Viva Rail livery, Viva Rail Canada. You know, I don't know what it's, it's obviously not real, but you know, looks not bad. Looks pretty good, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, let's head off. <clears throat> and uh, we're on a 12-car contest as well, so we're not also not stopping at St Pancras, because couldn't be bothered. Uh, it's the same scenario from my... Um, turn the lights on. Same scenario from my custom livery. Just reused it, because why wouldn't you? And uh, I went on a bit of a reskin downloading spree, so I've got a bunch more liveries, which means a bunch more videos on this topic. So I've got um, Heather Express, because of course um, we can now use 377 on in the livery designer, and it's easier to make them on the livery designer than in .pack form. So we got them. Let's throttle down a little bit. Got. Um, a lot of the 66 reskins. It got also a lot of the 377 reskins as well. So a lot of stuff to look forward to. And yes. This is very nice. I mean, they're kind of, even though they don't use these trains, nowhere near. Um, but there kind of is a relevance because, you know, obviously this route has Eurostar trains travelling on them. And Eurostar, to start off with, they planned to have domestic UK services running up through the north on what would become High Speed 2. But of course, High Speed 2 took forever to build. It's still taking forever. So, um, instead, we'll just go full throttle. Instead, what they did was they sold Eurostar and eventually um, they leased them to GNER for a while. Eurostar sold the carriages for training and parts and they sold the, um, so they sold the power cars for training and parts and they sold the carriages to Viva Rail Canada. So there kind of is a, um, kind of is a little bit of a, a um, a, I've forgotten the word I was going to use. Anyway, but th th there's kind of the link in there somewhere. But anyway, so I've got a lot of stuff to look forward to, and uh, I will get stuck into the scenarios for this route. And um, I was thinking maybe I should do a uh, one or two of the scenarios with um, commentary. But you know, if you have an opinion on that, why don't you leave it down below? And I'd. You know, if you want commentary on the scenarios, I'd be more than happy to do that. You know, makes it more fun for me, I guess. Anyway, it's the QE2, isn't it? Yeah. So yes, um, as I said before, the sounds still aren't brilliant. They're they're better because this is the um first video on the post-production model so this is the actual model I deleted the um, the original thing that I downloaded and just installed the actual model but yes so this is the um, actual release model I did that um, the day after it was released and so that has it's got a more improvements what I could check is um, I put it into throttle 3 and then it's going to hold the speed 
I'll see if the door interlocks work. That they they clearly still work. Okay, so that's one of the things that hasn't changed. Of the sounds have changed, but you know that that interlock probably should be fixed. Uh, couldn't be bothered to report it as a bug, but you know it should be fixed. Trains getting away. I kind of like Hitachi trains. They're sort of nice in a funny sense. I know the quality of the new IUTs are pretty lacking in places. Um, having been on some myself, I can confirm that. But um, these trains are stunning. They're absolutely wonderful. Also, the speed limit's 230 here, and the target speed for the TBM is also 230, even though it should be 225. You know. Okay, we're still decelerating. Still decelerating. Can we accelerate? It'd also be nice if there was speed set, like there's, there is on the TGV and the IC, but you know, whatever. I won't argue. I guess we could go up to 2.30. Why not? Come on. Speed. Come on. Speed. Can I have a speed machine and not a slow machine? Yes, we can have a speed machine. Alright. Making cracking progress. Maybe I'll do one of the um, 66 liveries on this route. Sounds fun. Don't speed. Don't speed. Come on. Don't speed. Don't speed on me. No. Train. Don't speed. Well, that's, that's good enough. Right, so you're decelerating on your own now. That's good, I guess. Now you're holding 226, right? 225. Right. I'm not fussed. Holding 225's nice. Uh, fastest domestic. I mean, they could go 300. I mean, why could. Why wouldn't you make. Just, whoever decided to make these trains only go at 225, you had the opportunity to make a 300 km an hour service, and you didn't. So, good on you. And now we're decelerating on a less steep slope. That makes no sense. And I, I know I said this in the last video, but I love the cab layout. It really does feel like a proper old train. Turn the light off. I like to keep the reading light alone. See, we're holding a nice steady 224 now. That's fine. So yes, it's a nice two, two, three. Right, we're dropping another notch of power. And um, also, if any of you make liveries and you'd like me to um, check some out, I'll be more than happy to. Uh, if it gets me views and it gets you attention, I'd be definitely more than happy to do that. So yes, I know I've had some um, the TGV Atlantique livery and the um, GWR for the 377. The creators of those liveries have both seen them and contacted me, and um, luckily they like it. But you know, if you don't want me to be doing this with your liveries and um, you know, if, if one of your liveries is on my channel and you don't want me to be making videos of it, that's fine. You just let me know and I might remove it as necessary or we'll agree something. 
passing through Stratford International, the um, international station that doesn't have any international traffic. Nice. Okay. Off the throttle. Uh, we're holding a pretty steady speed, but I might bring it down slightly. Yeah, then... Right, so that indicates that there's going to be 200 limit. Which means I'm going to start to put the brakes on. Coming into a arrival at St. Pancras Internationale. And I'm just going to try and get to 160. And I'll let the hill do that. And uh, this tunnel still has a camera that you're, you can like move the camera around in this tunnel still. Which, you know, makes for a pretty cool shot like this. But maybe less so. Also, I don't really know why that jumped to um, from 200 back to... Oh, because it jumped from 200 being not line speed to 200 being line speed. And now it's dragging back down to 160. Which means that next limit will probably be quite low. 130? No, it's 100. Okay. And that's it, we can hold speed here. It's 100 all the way until TBM stops and then it drops down to 60 I believe? Like 80 and then to 60 and then to um, 40. So yes. Speeding, come on train, slow down. Oh, there's the 80 limit. Come on train, slow down. Please slow down. Yes, that's good. I mean out line speed. Nice. Give it another notch of throttle. Just to get to 80. And there is limit. I need to try and get down to 60. That is a very steep slope. Yeah. Okay, and we can hold speed there. Yeah, this is an interesting station layout here at St Pancras. Oh god, speeding! So as I was saying, it is quite interesting, you know, for especially for a new station, it's very unusual. You would have thought that that mess wouldn't be necessary, but you know, whatever. And we are now arriving. Love the flange. And you know, six car trains are pretty uncommon in the UK. Um, stop! Stop! Bloody hell. Okay, so I had a... a, a, a. A, a bit of a 
you know, yeah. Do I need to do that and then do that and then do that? Yes. Right, that's good. <laughs> God. Is, uh, could have come off the tracks then, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm all over the place. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all tomorrow with a uh, 66 video on Southeastern High Speed. So... I will see you then.